Let's take a look at Troy Francis's girlfriend. As we've seen with all the fucking busted red pill, red pill coach's girlfriend, Troy, surprise, surprise, is no exception. So let's take a look. Wow, what a looker. You and your buddy Ryan Stone are really taking down stunners. Bow down for the red pill gurus, everybody. Let's get a round of applause here. This is fucking terrific work. Nice job, Troy. Killing the game. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. We have a fun little treat today. Been waiting to light up this dude, even though he's not that popular, but he tried to make some shots fired. Again, without mentioning my name. Why? Because he's a pussy. But he made some little stupid memes on his Twitter that got like two likes or something like that. And people were like, hey, look, Troy Francis is talking shit. Okay, these guys can't even say my name or my picture. And they have no fucking good arguments whatsoever. It's all baseless claims. But it's a good opportunity to dive into this little fuck. So... Before we continue, please subscribe below if you are not already a subscriber. Press the notification bell for new videos every single day. This is a straightforward, no BS, practical dating advice channel, okay? And I can get you very, very good at the game very fast if you want to learn exactly how. The full blueprint, including a customized solution for your particular situation. Jump on a free 30-minute call. Link is in the description. So who do we have here? Troy Francis. This is him on the left here with this, this tranny uh, gentleman. Uh, doing who knows what, okay? Allegedly, he's banging uh, creatures like this, okay? And he's also a mega loser, as we will see. So, uh, where did the where did this attack come from that I'm I'm referencing? Okay, Troy tweet number one. Okay, that got four likes. Or no, let's see here, 62 likes. Uh, if I make enough videos calling other dudes frauds, then maybe y'all gonna buy my stuff instead. Okay, like Ryan Stone's argument before. Oh. Uh, it's just easier to make content where, where you insult people. About, no, the whole fucking red pill domain is a bunch of coaches that are hypocrites, that married very below average girls, that don't know what the fuck they're talking about, that have no credentials and no backup of their skills and results. That's a fact. Okay, So this is not a, a money grab and oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm pointing out how the large majority of the pickup industry and the red pill industry is full of shit. Okay? There's no quality control. There's no fact checking this industry. That's what I provide, okay? As well as the top fucking dating advice on earth, okay? There's plenty of value videos on my channel. I have hundreds of, of videos on my channel, okay? So here with the, we have the clown. Okay, now we have the next one. When you make 300 dating roach frauds exposed videos and your channel's still not growing, okay? Now let's examine his claim about how my channel's not growing. As we saw when Ryan Stone was like, oh, you have all these little channels, and I showed how I have more subs than Ryan Stone, okay? So he has no, no business running his mouth. Let's look at uh, this, this claim. Is my channel growing or not? Okay. Here's my channel. Okay. 2.46 million views, as you see over here on the right. Um, let's see. And 17,500 subscribers. Okay. Here we'll go through this here. Widely regarded as the top pick up artist and coach in the dating game. Uh, 1,300 plus women. At the time of this recording, it's 1,341 girls in 30 plus countries. Okay. Seen and done it all. Yeah. I provide more proof than that. I have. By far the most infield footage, by far the most receipts in, in pictures and videos with girls, even in compromising situations. Okay, and it's undisputed that I have the best system. Okay, but let's look at this here 2.46 million views. Let's take a look at Troy's channel. Okay, now we have this little figure down here 874,000. Okay, so he has three times less, but he's trying to diss me that my, my channel's not growing. Look in the mirror, Troy boy. Okay, now. Three times, <laughs> three times more views than you, Troy boy. Doesn't mean his real name. We'll get into his real name shortly, and look at some of the other activities he was up to before he got into being a dating coach and being a, a guru. Okay, so let's look at view counts first. Okay, of our of our fucking videos. He's he's trying to say, oh, his channel's not growing. Okay, here we have 400, 400, 800, 500, 300, 200. 400 most of these are below 1k as you can see it's very obvious he brought on a couple scammers who attracted a scam following okay with fresh and fit and he was able to break the 1k view count barrier there okay now let's look at my channel over the past bunch of videos okay 4k 6k 3 4 6 and a half 11k 10k 5k 7k 5k 14k 8k okay obviously i have a lot more fucking views than he does okay 
But what about his subs? Okay, let's let's take a look at subs. Okay, I have seventeen and a half thousand subs. Now let's look at Troy's channel. Oh wait, he hid the subs. Why? Because he's embarrassed. Okay. They see when a guy has a low sub count, they just hide it. Okay, just because, so that no one can can know the real truth. Okay, show your sub count, Troy. You fucking badass. You dating guru. Show your sub count. Who else does that though? Okay, who else do we know? That does this little trick where they can hide their sub count and uh, and stay anonymous about the, the small number of followers they have. Oh, everybody's favorite fucking resident psychopath. Okay, modern life dating also hides his subs. Why? Because he's fucking embarrassed. Okay, he just hides behind his little keyboard. And I have a massive, massive, massive roast. My biggest ever. It's gonna be multiple hours long, and a shit ton of slides destroying this stupid fuck. Okay, he was driving a cab recently. He was almost arrested for an Airbnb scam. He was teaching English. He came into the pickup and dating guru world just as a money grab, a pure money grab, nothing else. I, I have evidence of him copying a whole bunch of people's products. He's an alleged fucking potential pedophile taking all these pictures of children. Okay. And it, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. He's been to jail multiple times. I have proof of that. And he used to sell drugs. Okay, he, I have proof of him on steroids. I'm going to go on and on and on and on and on. It's going to be fully fucking amazing. Okay, and that's coming hopefully in the next few days. We're just putting the finishing touches on that. Okay, and moving right along, let's take a look at Troy Francis' girlfriend. As we've seen with all the fucking busted red pill, red pill coach's girlfriend, Troy, surprise, surprise, is no exception. So let's take a look. Wow, what a looker. You and your buddy Ryan Stone are really taking down stunners. Bow down for the red pill gurus, everybody. Let's get a round of applause here. This is fucking terrific work. Nice job, Troy. Killing the game. Okay, these are your these are your fucking heroes, everyone. Okay, and here we have a uh, little buddy Ryan Stone. They're retweeting each other's like fucking bullshit disses on me that are baseless. Can't even say my name. Giant pussies. Fucking settle down with average busted trash, and then. Try to just make a bunch of money off guys that don't know any better and think these guys are actually good with women. Surprise, surprise, they fucking blow. Okay. What other activities does Troy Francis engage in? Here's where things start to get quite interesting. Okay. You know, just casually chilling with trannies. No big deal. Okay. But what did Troy do before becoming a dating guru? Okay. Let's take a look. Troy Francis, aka John Lucas, was a former Vice magazine writer who wrote articles on tranny nightclubs and gay sauna parties. Okay, so here's Vice UK. This is what a night in North London's top swingers sauna is actually like. And then we have uh, John Lucas Esquire here, whatever the fuck. This, was, this is his real name, John Lucas. This is what a night is actually like. Okay? He's, he's like infiltrating these parties, I'm sure partaking, etc. Okay, sounds a little suspect, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Now, here we have an article down here, you see, by John Lucas. Gay nightlife is dying, and grinder and gentrification are to blame. Okay. What the fuck is this guy doing? He, he, before he became a, a red pill dating coach, okay, for teaching men how to get hot chicks, okay, he's writing articles about gay nightlife for Vice. Okay, and we saw the picture of MLD in bed with the tranny. We see Myron, Myron Gaines in bed with the different men. Yeah. As the legendary venues and parties that defined gay nightlife in the 1990s and 2000s die out, what are promoters doing to keep the party moving? They, yeah, tune in to John Lucas for all your gay nightlife needs here. Okay, let's take a look, another look. He's much better suited at writing about the queers he hangs out with than masquerading as a men's dating coach, guru, and master. Okay, look at he's put he's posting these pictures. The vibe of UK and trans and transatlantic gay nightlife is an elusive thing to define. There are more venues, gay partygoers, and different vibes on offer than ever before. But broadly speaking, blah 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 blah. I know all this firsthand because I've uh, partaken in in all the various festivities in these events, and now I continue to bring that forward and in, in uh, partake in these activities with my Rule Zero and Red Pill associates. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, this these guys. This is like. This is so fucking ridiculous. Time and time again, we've seen these guys are full off the deep end, full scamming, full hypocrisy, okay, shoveling dog shit, trying to be the cool guys, trying to be the guys that are too cool for school. And I'm going to show all these red pilled guys that are migrating over my channel and unsubbing from these other fucking channels all the receipts. Okay, I'm going to be posting on my YouTube stories, so keep a lookout videos and pictures with all these fucking girls 
I have countless, I have endless. I can post multiple a day for years and years and years, and I will, okay? And these guys have zero receipts. These guys are just marrying average busted trash and then trying to talk shit on me and throw shade on me, okay? So, in closing, don't worry. Troy can spin this positive. He just practice on guys' buttholes to be prepared for female ones. Just tell yourself this is what you wanted, okay? As Troy says, whatever happens to you, spin it in a positive way. Okay, within reason. But seriously, when the shit hits the fan, tell yourself this was what you always wanted. Works wonders. So when you watch this, Troy, just tell yourself this is what you always wanted. For everyone to know that you're dating a completely busted girl, that you hang out with trannies, that you spend a lot of time in gay night, nightclubs and nightlife, and you're an expert on that stuff. Okay. And even though you're trying to diss my channel that it's not growing, I have far more views and far more subscribers to your unknown subscriber count, but a lot more fucking channel views than you do and more subs than your fucking loser friend Ryan Stone, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. MLD2 is going to be a huge hit, okay? It's going to be a, a very big pleasure making that. It's going to be multiple hours. I do encourage you guys to watch the whole thing as it's, it's, it's fucking disgusting. This guy's full out of control. We're literally putting everything on in the line. I've had an assistant working on this for several months. We're burying that guy very soon, okay? If you are not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below. Press the notification bell for new videos every day. And also, feel free to jump on a free 30-minute call with me. Link in the description. I'll show you how you can get you very good, very, very fast. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.